What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Church Boy V. Hope y'all having a blessed day. Today is uh, <laughs> Wednesday. So y'all gonna be getting this video Friday or Saturday. Forgive me. So I forgot to post this Saturday, so y'all will be getting this on a, on Thursday. So to, uh, pray for your boy. Don't charge my heart. Charge my head. Today, and let's get back to it. This video is going to be titled, Have Hope. This too shall pass. And we know we're going through this uh, coronavirus episode and people dying day by day. And Trump, he uh, extended the stay home until April 30th. So I want to this week, I want to just uh, give out, put out videos uh, that can, can that can encourage everyone that can. Get everybody strength to continue to trust in God, continue to walk by faith and not by sight. So, this video, and I'm, I'm gonna do a video on Thursday, but when this upload, it's gonna be Friday. So, you're gonna see another uh, above inspiration video Thursday. So, man, I hope y'all have a blessed day. I want y'all to, to listen, play. Pay close attention to the words, because they say some real stuff. So let's get into the video, and let's hear mighty words. All your bills are paid. You don't have to be real strong to shout hallelujah when everything is well in your life. But when the bottom falls out, when sickness comes, Mm. when difficulties, tough times, hard days, long uh, nights, it is then Anderson, that your faith kicks in to let you know that he's a very present help in the time of trouble. This, this word is for somebody going through tough times. Hmm. Well, you better preach it, brother. For somebody struggling just to keep your head above water. Mm-hmm. You're smiling just to keep from crying. Hmm. You, you're doing the best you can, but you put one foot forward and two steps are made backwards. Hmm. You, you're trying, but things don't seem to be quite working out the way you planned. You thought you'd be in a different place at hmm. this season in your life. And it looks like you've been praying and calling on the Lord, and you're doing everything right, but you're still suffering. I've got some good news for you. He'll show up. Yes, he will. He will come through. And just because he hasn't come through already does not mean he's not coming through at all. The Lord will make a way. He <laughs> will get us out in his time. Anybody here ever been through a trial? And for a moment, it looked like it would never end. But now that you're on the other side of it, You have surrendered yourself to the mighty hand of God. Mm. God, my will is your will. My ways are your ways. Mm -hmm. My desires are your desires. Whatever you want me to do, I give up. I surrender. You can have my life. Take it and make it what you want it to be. And whenever you give up struggling, God will always Mm. bless you. Yeah. Sometimes God got to take you all the way down Hmm. before he can bring you back up again. Sometimes God got to take from you what you think you can't get along without to let you know he was there all the time. Sometimes you got to hit rock bottom before you find out who is the rock at the bottom. (laughs) That boy said something. That boy said something. Dang, I hate these ads. That boy said something. I'm gonna scoop that over. I'm not editing. I'm not editing none of this. Expect things to get better for you because they are. See, life is cyclic. You're not. What is whatever experience you're having right now? It has not come to stay. It has come to pass. Not to stay, just to pass. It's just going through. The biggest challenge is is to know what's happening. This is a part of this thing we call life. This too shall pass. Mm. 
and maintaining perspective, putting it in perspective. See, a lot of us, because of our limited vision of ourselves, a lot of us who begin to focus on problems and enable them to overwhelm us, we begin to think that we have no options. We begin to believe that there's no way out. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. And all of these things that are happening to me right now, they're just temporary inconveniences. God is going to bring us through this season. God's going to get us through this. So this season will end. We're just in a season right now. It's going to pass. God has the wisdom, and God's going to give us that wisdom. Big facts. It's pretty easy sometimes to, to feel beaten. That doesn't mean give up. Hmm. In fact, it means the opposite. Mm -hmm. It means it's time for you to fight harder. And I'm going to tell you right now, it won't be easy. It will be hard because life is hard. That's what life is. And these challenges, these challenges that you face, they're going to do their best to take you down. Do not let them. Stand up. Dig in. Line up those problems and confront them. Face them. Fight them. Do not let them bring you down. In fact, in fact, let those challenges raise you up. Let them elevate you. Let their demands and their trials make you stronger. Let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person tomorrow. So, so in the future, you look back at these struggles and you say to them, thank you. You made me better. Come on now. They say they gotta get their money too. Better. Stop wasting today's strength fighting tomorrow's battles. Mm. And God says, give me my job back. God's job is tomorrow. Your job is today. Give us this day our daily bread. What am I do today? I'm gonna sit, set aside some time and listen to the word of God. This day. I'm so glad I'm not God. I'm so glad that 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 I don't have to I don't have to figure it all out. I'm so glad I've got a God who has gone before me. I'm so glad I have a father. If I did not have to run around like the pagans, what am I going to eat? What am I going to drink? What am I going to wear? Jesus says, "Stop worrying about mm -hmm. what God is already working on." Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is God's job. Tomorrow is God's job. So, here's what we have to do. We have to trust God with tomorrow's problems and embrace today's process. God promised me the grace for today and the hope for tomorrow. Even in the darkest moments, even in the darkest days, choose faith over fear. Mm -hmm. We believe today that the spirit of fear is loose in our nation and around the world. And he wants to do everything that he can to get us to worry, to feel anxious, to feel stressed mm -hmm. out, to feel as though everything's over and we're coming to an end. We're not coming to an end. Don't let worry make you go into just panic. Jesus said, I am with you in your home. I am where you are. I know your address. I know all about you. I have not forgotten about you. I am with you. No matter what comes our way, our first reaction should be faith that overcomes the fear. Mm -hmm. Choose faith over fear. Choose faith over panic and over being petrified. We will survive. We're more than conquerors through Christ. No weapon formed against us will prosper. And then he said that nothing can separate us from, from the love, love of God. God. Mm. 
we're being dominated right now in our culture, in our, in our culture by fear. We need to go from fear-based living to faith-based living. Fear wants to cause us to go into denial, to not deal with the issues. Listen to this. Face the problem, but focus on God. Choose faith over fear. God delights, listen, in courageous people. In people who are strong and courageous, who when they face challenges, they don't buckle and they don't fear and they don't fall. When, when we're going through something, the goal isn't just to get through it. Mm. Far, far. The goal is for God to show us something in it that will make us better on the other side. Let's not be fearful. After all, we always have the Savior who loves us. For you are my hiding place. Mm. Mm. You protect me from trouble. Mm -hmm. You surround me with songs of victory. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Yeah. You know enough about God to get you through this valley. We talk about going through, I know I'm going to get through this. Mm -hmm. And I don't say that in a callous way or a cliche way. I'm saying the Lord is my shepherd. I know that. He's my mm -hmm. guide. I know that. Stop living by sight and start living by faith. Hmm. Boy, man, I don't know about y'all, but shoot, the um, these videos, man, they be powerful. These, man, they be talking about real stuff. And man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If this is your first time on this uh, channel. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hit all. You get all the videos right instantly when I download them. Post them on here. If you like the video, like it. Share one thing in the comments what uh you learned or what the person said spoke out to you because we in a time where people sick, people dying, people can't go to work, uh people can't go to school, but guess what? We have we have faith. God wake up to see another day. We shouldn't worry, should not be afraid. I know for me, I work with kids and the school shut down, so I I've been at home chilling, haven't been working, but guess what? Been been eating food. Got food every day. Got a place to sleep. Shoot. I got number time on my hand. I study the word. I'm able to do the YouTube videos more now. I just have more time on my hand. It's a blessing under a curse. So I always have faith and know that this too shall pass. That we just continue trusting God. And everything will be and going to be all right. But man, it was a great video. I don't know about y'all, but I got a lot of it. It strengthened me and encouraged me. To continue to trust in God, continue to walk by faith and not by sight. And it, we may look destroyed, but we ain't destroyed. We got to know that as long as we don't give up hope, that we don't give up faith, that we still in this uh, fight with um, things that go against us, maybe people, maybe circumstances, but we need to have faith, have hope in God, because God going to bring us through it. And we don't have no control over tomorrow because God is the one that determines if we see tomorrow or not. So it's in his hands. So don't worry about tomorrow. Just just keep your eyes on today and put your um, your hands in the Lord's hands. By, by me saying that, trust in God, count on him, be looking for the blessing uh, you asked him for. And man, just... Just know that God's with you, man. Too many people worry or scared, but don't be scared. Don't worry. Because God, he ain't put too much on us that we can't bear. So just want to let y'all know, man, that everything will be and going to be all right. Shoot, take this time to get closer to yourself. Get to know yourself. Take this time to get closer to your family. And first and foremost, take this time to get closer to God by studying the word of God, by praying, shoot, by examining examining ourselves on what we need to work on, what we need to uh, put in God's hands. Because everything we need to work on, on ourselves, we put in God's hands that he would take care of the rest. But we got to work as well. So, man, besides that, y'all stay blessed. And y'all be ready for another video. Like I said last week, man, I'm 
since I had nothing else to do, I got none but time to make these videos. So I hope y'all enjoy the video and show some love, uh, give some feedback, and y'all have a blessed day. Peace out, church fam. I know the Lord.